Hello everyone, this is Gamer, and welcome back to Dust 12. I've already seen this cutscene, so let's continue. Where are you right now? Stage minus two of Glacier Object, the cryogenic hibernation room. It's hard to miss. Got it. Be careful, there are still hostile creatures in the rooms. I've got it, coming up. Waiting for you, over. Over and out. Really? And they come back alive? Are you serious? That did not even touch me. That's bullcrap. Wow, you miss. Good dummy. Upstairs. I better save, because this is getting ridiculous now. It's getting kind of ridiculous shooting all these guys when they keep on coming back alive. What the heck? Dude, die! Thank you.
Are you dead? Oh no. Was I just there? No, I don't think so, was I? The way to get through. Ooh, turret is blocking the pass. Ugh. Hell, they're on Ooh. again. We had them switched off already, but the auxiliary generator must have been activated. There's a security room somewhere near you. Check it for some switch or panel to deactivate. Copy. I'll try to find something. Alright. Ever gonna die? Thank you. All right, I better save. Oh, ow! Dang it! Sorry, my toe got itchy all of a sudden. I don't know why. It's weird. I probably got half piece foot. Great. Uh nope. Other way.
think he's dead. Yep. Come on. How do you survive that? You should be dead. Good. What? Crap. I better save. Dang it, these guys are getting tougher now. Dead. Dead. Yeah, that's one dead. The entire team, except for you, is exterminated, and you managed to survive and find us. This comes in handy. The brain is seriously damaged indeed, and we need a donor urgently. Well, I don't get it. It's easy. Belov is your father, and the prototype's father of some kind. You're very similar to the prototype genetically. You are a perfect donor. Colonel, it's nonsense. Who is Belov? What kind of donor? No time to explain. Take him away. Don't move. We need Don't to destroy even breathe. him. Now. Are you serious? I'm dead? Thanks, Lieutenant. Oh, okay. Prepare the equipment fast. Put him on the table. Pull okay. out the prototype. What the hell? Hurry, Doctor. Captain, 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 keep your eye on the situation. Damn, poor Batya. Probably. So, what's up with you? I died in the cryo chamber. Brain was ruined. Body was still functioning, but the head My case was. is the exact opposite. It happens. So, what's next? Hell if I know. It seems to be a sign. Listen, uh, what's your name? Artem. Artem, we need to get revenge on this bastard. Maybe somehow we will. Ha.
A year ago, they tried to take you out of Chernozersk. Who? The team of Colonel Danilov. Colonel, a clever person, found notes about you in some old papers. He investigated the matter. He even found Bailov, who was locked in a mental hospital. And when he learned everything, he founded an operation of deployment into the town. He even brought a brain donor for you. He wanted to sell you somewhere abroad. The Colonel's mission was a failure. His entire team was killed in Glacier. I was in here by accident. I like walking around, you know. Well, I have my ways. So I went there, and he was left all alone. I locked you in your cell again, and the colonel was almost dead. I took him to my place, took care of him, talked to him a lot. Such a clever person he is. I told him about the transmitter. The transmitter? How do you think the virus does not spread out of the town limits? There's a transmitter installed on the TV tower. It works constantly. The virus is set to its frequency. The virus, it's... how to put it... isn't ripe yet. It's like that. Hell, it's hard to explain to you. You're uneducated. On the current power, the transmitter kind of keeps the virus alive, but without the transmitter's emission, the virus will be unable to exist. If the transmitter is turned off, the virus will die fast. But if you turn it to its full power, the virus will grow strong literally in a few hours, and it will get its own life. So, Danilov? So Danilov made me an offer. I helped him to get out of town, and he promised he'll come back. He will agree on a price, and after coming back, he will release the virus. And then get me, and you, and take us away. We will live on an island. Danilov is back. Yes, I know. But you are not getting your island, Dolokhov. Really? I'll stop him and destroy the transmitter. But why, Artem? Because I am not an Artem. I am Andrei Yagorov. Stop, Andrei! <laughs> What the heck? Ah! Oh! What was that? A cure for Dusk 12. What for? It's death to you, Artem. You are a creation of Dusk, so you will die. Not right away, but you don't have so much time. It's a pity, but you will have a chance to feel like a god Why? for a change. About 20 minutes before you die, your body will become almost invulnerable. Not for long, but the effect is How can I interesting. Pass? I will show you the entrance. Nice. Oh god, the bright light. TV center. Idiots. The stupid leaders went to remove me. And for what? For my abusive practice? Anyway, they tried to put me into the glacier I constructed myself. Except these jerks had no idea about my rapport with Gorin. Oh, finally, I saw this killing machine in action. It was an amazing show. Anyway, I'm free now. I have to run. I have to escape this forsaken land. Again, TV Center. Hey! Hey! Can I end my video for the love of God, please? Jeez. Alright guys, I'm going to have to end my video here. If you like this video, please give this video a like, comment on this video on how you like the game so far, subscribe to the channel to see more gaming videos like these. Alright, this has been Gamer. Peace out. I'll definitely see you on the next episode of Dust 12. Bye everyone.